Das Böse begrüßt euch zurück hier bei Welcome to Ponyville Act 1 in Part 2. Ja, wir machen uns jetzt auf den Weg zum Rathaus. Nein, nicht rief wieder normal. Ich glaube, sonst kriegt ihr einen Hör Hörstoß, Ohrenkrebs, alles zusammen. Must be the Re receptionist. Uh, I'll bet she knows where I can buy a house. Hi there. I was wondering if you could tell me who I need to speak it. Uh, Meine Fresse, nochmal. Also irgendwie Konzentration ist gerade so ziemlich bei Null. Ich weiß nicht, ob das daran liegt, dass dieses, diese Stimmen, die ich gerade hörte, verdammt hoch waren und einfach nur schlimm waren für meine Ohren oder woran auch immer. Egal, nochmal. Hi there. I was wondering if you could tell me who I need to speak to about purchasing a house. Depends. Are you new to Ponyville? No. Just got off the train. Well, if you're looking for a house, you should know the mayor has to approve all real estate purchases within town limits. Currently, there are three houses for sale. If you would like, I could mark them on a map for you. Jo, machen wir so. That would be great, but I don't have a map. Not a problem. Maps are free for all residents and future residents of Ponyville. I'll mark the locations of the for sale houses for you. Thanks a lot. So, once I found a house, I like, I just... Just come back here and I'll let the mayor know that you wish to speak with her. She will handle all the paperwork. Have a good day. Ähm, sind das alles nur weibliche Ponys? Gibt's keine männlichen Ponys? Map of Ponyville received. Alright, which house do I want to check out first? Ich nehme mal das erste River House. Zuerst, also ich gehe jetzt mal die Reihe durch. This place looks pretty cozy, cozy, wie auch immer. Uh, the stream would certainly, certainly uh, be relaxing. I wonder that the interior looks like. Wow, crime rate must be pretty low in this town if they don't even lock their doors. Though, I guess there's nothing worth stealing in an empty house. Well, this place isn't too bad for an abandoned house. Nice view of the stream from here. Do I want to live here? Ich möchte erstmal weiter gucken. Jetzt gehen wir mal zum Forest House. The map says that's every free forest, huh? There's a big warning symbol on the map. Wonder what all what what oh, meine Fresse nochmal. Wonder what all that's about. Ja. Sieht im Prinzip genauso aus wie das andere auch. This is kinda nice. Got a good view of the forest from here. A bit out of the way. Plenty of privacy too. Do I want to live here? Dann schauen wir uns erst nochmal das Townhouse aus an. Ey, also heute habe ich wirklich die Sprachstörung gepachtet irgendwie. Well, I wouldn't have to walk far to get to the shops from this house. I wonder what the inside looks like. Bestimmt genauso wie die davor auch war. Ja. This place isn't bad. I have a good view of the town. I can even see Applejack's stall from here. Do I want to live here? Ja, das ist jetzt die Frage. Ja, was nehmen wir da? Also ich glaube, ich werde mal River nehmen. Riverhouse. Kennen wir schon. Ich da jetzt nochmal raufklick. Ist nochmal das gleiche. Ja, sehr sinnvoll. Okay, also Return to Town Hall dann. Wüsste ich jetzt nicht. Return to Town Hall. Ich möchte gern. Welcome back. Did you find a house that suited you? Yeah. Yeah, I think I did. What do I need to do now? I informed the mayor that you'd be coming by to speak with her about a house. I'll let her know you're here. Well, they certainly are punctual here at least. The mayor will see you now, ma'am. Thank you. 
Welcome to Ponyville. <laughs> I am Mayor Mayor. I understand you are looking for a house. Well, yes. I think I found one I like. Very well. What house are you interested in? Are you sure? Yes. I really like the river house, though I'm not sure I can afford it. Mm, well, let me see here. Usual price for that home is 2100 bits, but our housing market has been in decline as of late. I would be willing to sell it to you for 1700. Hey, seriously? I can afford that, though just barely. I'll take it. Very good then. Here is the key to your new home. House key received. As mayor of Ponyville, I would like to be the first to welcome you as our newest unicorn. Please enjoy your stay. If you're ever looking for work, there is a board in the lobby that usually has jobs posted. Enjoy your new home and don't be afraid to stop by should you need anything. I should probably head to my new house. It's getting late. Ja, und wo schlafen wir denn da? Das sah jetzt nicht so aus, als hätten wir da jetzt die mega Ausrüstung oder äh, Mobiliar. Wow. Ponyville looks even better in the evening. Princess Luna has been doing a really good job since she resumed control of the night. Ouch. Holding my stuff around all day is starting to take a toll on my spine. Hmm. I still have plenty of apples. Applejack must have given me a whole bucket. Least dinner is taken care of tonight and tomorrow's breakfast. Oof. An all apple diet can't be that bad for you, right? Ah, stimmt, einen Apfel könnte ich mir auch mal wieder kaufen. Oh, man. Next thing on my agenda is gonna be getting a bed. The floor does not look comfortable. Comfortable, doch, nee, ist richtig. Guess I can use my saddlebags as a bed for tonight. Auch super, auf blauen Dunst fahren wir nach Ponyville, wollen uns da niederlassen, haben aber nicht mal irgendwas, äh, wo wir uns drauf betten können. Und dann Scene 2. Labor. Laboratory hätte ich gedacht, aber Labor. Ja. Labrador. Uh, I don't wanna get up. Oh ja, das Gefühl kenne ich. Das geht mir eigentlich fast jeden Morgen so. Oh, oh. Note to self. Saddlebags do not make for a good bed. Okay. Today I'm getting a bed. I probably should eat something first. Think I have a few apples left. Nom nom nom. Pinkie Pie was right. These apples are really good. Time to go see about getting a bed. Hmm, furniture store, furniture store. What's this? The carousel boutique now with furniture? Huh? Never heard of a boutique selling furniture. Guess I'll see what they've got. Ich glaube, Furniture ist wirklich, ähm, um, Mobiliar. Hello there, dear customer, and welcome to Carousel Boutique. Well, I have never seen you before. Would you happen to be new in Ponyville? Yeah, just move in. Marvelous, move darling. In. Welcome to Ponyville. You'll simply love it here, I assure you. It has all the niceties of a big city with a touch of rule. My name is Rarity, the proprietor of this dandy establishment, as well as Ponyville's shining fashionista. It's always nice to meet new faces. What can I get for you? Wait, let me guess. Something proper. You would look simply dashing in formal attire. Perhaps you're planning a romantic evening with that special sum pony, and you need an absolutely stunning ensemble. Whatever it is, I assure you that I have something just for the occasion. With Rarity's designs, you are guaranteed to draw admiration. Actually, I was hoping to see what you had in the way of uh, furniture. I saw your sign outside. Oh, but of course. If you just moved in, you probably need to furnish your new home. I've never heard of a boutique that sold furniture. Is that something you normally do? Well, curious story, that. It isn't usually my thing. There was a bit of a shipping mix-up, actually. 
I was supposed to get in a shipment of designer fabric, but instead wound up with a shipment of furniture. How some pony made that oversight, I'll never know. Naturally, I was furious at first. Once I got a good look at the bed sheets and curtains, I thought to myself, <gasps> Idea! Scheiße, sind die alles abgedreht? Why not turn this mistake into an opportunity? So, I kept the furniture. I rather enjoy the challenge of making fashionable furniture. Of course, clothing is still my passion, but it doesn't hurt to have a hobby on the side. Look at me rambling on like that. <laughs> What can I get for you? Ja, so viel Geld habe ich ja leider nicht. Ich habe ja noch das hier. Soft bed received. Yeah. I see you have exquisite taste. If you'd like, I can have the bed delivered to your home this afternoon. That would be great, but I don't think I could afford it. Don't be silly. Think of it as a welcoming gift. That's great. Thanks a lot, Rarity. Wow, she's really generous. The Carousel Boutique has been added to your map. Rarity is now an acquaintance. Was auch immer das ist. Well, that's the last of my bits. Probably should have found a fir job first. Ah, oh, never was good with money. Didn't the mayor say there was a job board at Town Hall? Wir werden jetzt erstmal wieder zum Rathaus gehen. This must be the job board. Let's see. There's only one job posted. Hey, it's Rarity. Says she needs help. Shipping an order of fashion items? That's not too surprising. <laughs> Sounds like it could be fun. This might not be so bad after all. Says she's paying 100 bits. That's a pretty generous sum for a single day's work. Probably should head over there before some pony else takes the job. Welcome back, darling. What can I get for you? Actually, I was hoping I could help you. I saw you had a job posted at Town Hall. But Town Hall. Of course. I've been so busy lately, I nearly forgot. Is the job still available? 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 Oh, yes, it is. I need it done immediately. Is that all right with you? Yeah, sure. Excellent, darling. The job is fairly simple, and your timing is perfect. I need some pony to pull the cart to the post office for me. The order must go out immediately. You see, I've just completed this big order for this smashing soiree in Cantalot. My client requires these outfits post haste, so I must get them to the post office right away. The trouble is, the cart is just too heavy for a delicate lady such as myself to pull. <laughs> So, the job is just pulling an, a cart to the post office? That would be correct. I actually just finished loading the cart. We can leave whenever you're ready. Is there anything else you wish to know? So, we have here... Your... What exactly do you need me to do? What is the pay? How did you manage to land such a big contract? No, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to get started. Right then. Just hook yourself up to the cart and we can be on our merry little way. Is something the matter? You're looking at that cart quite hard. The Farbzusammenstellung. Somehow it looks familiar. It does. But of course. <laughs> you must have run into Pinkie Pie already. Yeah, you could say I bumped into her earlier. <laughs> is she a friend of yours? Pinky is one of my very best friends. She's hilarious and so high energy. If you ever want to throw a party, she's the mare to do the job. High energy? I think that's putting it lightly. Does the cat belong to her? Yes, I don't have one of my own. I would scarcely ever need such a thing. Pinky was kind enough to let me borrow it for the day. Not to sound pushy, but 
We really must get going. I need to get this delivery out immediately. We can chat along the way if you'd like. I do so enjoy good conversation. Yeah, just let me get hooked up. Mmm. Ah, oh, wow. This thing is heavy. You weren't kidding. Is that all right? Can you manage? Like I have a choice, but I need the bits. I could just levitate this thing, but it's so heavy I might have a harder time going doing that though. Uh, guess that's why she wanted some pony to pull it. Oh, <laughs> it's fine, really. I can manage it. Thank you, but please don't strain yourself. I wouldn't want you getting hurt on my account. It's no trouble, really. Just what exactly did you put in this thing? My client demanded dresses that would STUN! So naturally I spared no expense. Each dress is studded with gems. A single dress weighs barely anything, but collectively they can be quite heavy. <sighs> I see that. You say you just moved in. If you just bought a bed for me today... Where in Equestria did you sleep? On my saddlebags. Saddlebags? That is no place for a proper unicorn to sleep. You really should have come to me sooner, darling. Oh, I would have gladly let you use a bed at the boutique. Well, at least for your first night in Ponyville until you could get a bed to your new home. So good -ish. I wish I would have. Thank you, Rarity. That's very generous of you. You really don't need to thank me. It's what a proper lady would do. Here I thought she was another one of those prissy unicorn fashion mares I went to magic school with. Guess you really can't judge a book by its cover. Lesson learned. Oh my, how about we take a break for a minute? Looks like the cart is starting to get rather cumbersome. Yeah, I just need to catch my breath. Thanks. It isn't too much further. By the way, did you happen to attend school in Canterlot? Yeah, my folks sent me there for a while. I didn't go on to Celestia's upper classes, though. Did you ever know someone named Twilight Sparkle? Twilight Sparkle? That name does sound really familiar, but I can't place it. Is she some pony I should knew? I'm sure you'll meet her eventually. She's another one of my best friends. If you went to school in Canterlot, you and her may have a lot to talk about. Ready to get going? Yeah, let's go. Here we are! If you could pull that card right over there, I will have it unloaded. Excuse me while I head inside and take care of the postage. Whoa, finally. I wasn't sure if I'd be able to make it there for a moment. Ponyville isn't even that big of a place and I'm exhausted. Hey! It's that new pony! Huh? Hey, new pony! Remember me? Yeah, hey, Leute. Hey! It's you, um, Apple Bloom, right? Yep, that's me! And here are my friends, Sweetie Belle. Ja, die kennen wir aus dem Tor Tutorial schon. Ist auch äh, ein Einhorn, wie es scheint. Also wir sehen ja hier ihr Hörnchen. In Scootaloo. Wie? Scootaloo. We're the Cutie Mark Crusaders on the quest to find our Cutie Marks. Oh, meine Ohren. Ich habe das schon extra leise gedreht. That's really neat. Just stay out of trouble. Well, that's a dumb name. That's really neat, girls. I bet you have all sorts of inventions, huh? Yeah, we get into all sorts of stuff. It's a lot of fun. Ähm, übrigens, weiß ich nicht, also meine Stimme passt ja eigentlich bestimmt nicht zu einem weiblichen Pony, ähm, aber es ist mir irgendwie egal, weil ich möchte, wenn ich selbst jemanden spreche, möchte ich natürlich auch... Ja, also wie soll ich sagen, also den Protagonisten möchte ich selber irgendwo sprechen, in meiner normalen Stimmlage eigentlich. Ich hoffe, das ist okay für euch. Äh, ansonsten kann ich natürlich auch das so machen wie bei Heidi und das durchgehend anders machen. Das soll jetzt nicht das Problem sein. Sometimes we 
get into stuff we probably shouldn't have. Pfft, so what? You never see Rainbow Dash backing down from trouble. Die Stimme ist relativ angenehm. Well, I'm sure you'll all get your cutie marks before you know it. Hey, Pinky brought this over to my sisters this morning. Are you working for my sister? Wait a second. Rarity is your sister? They do look a lot all alike, yeah. Yeah, she's my fake sister. Are you working for her? Maybe she's Rarity's girlfriend. <laughs> um... <laughs> no, it's nothing like that. I'm just doing a job for her. Well, you do look like you might know about fashion and all that beauty stuff. I see why she's called Sweetie Bell. Bell. I'm just doing a job for... Ja, meine Fresse, was ist heute mit mir los? Ich verstehe es nicht. I'm just doing a job for her today. It's nothing permanent. That's right, you're new in town. So I guess you're trying to earn up some bits. <gasps> if you like, you could ask my sister if she needs any help down at the farm. Her and Big Macintosh are always super busy. Big Macintosh. I reckon they could use a helping hoof. Maybe that will get us our cutie marks. Cutie Mark Crusader Job Finders! Hold on a second, girls. I. Cutie Mark Crusader Job Finders! What the f. What was all that about? And why do I have a bad feeling all of a sudden? Da steht feeling. Da fehlt ein E. Oh, ich hab einen Fehler gefunden. Ich bin stolz auf mich. Ah, stimmt. Sie ist auch ein Einhorn. Sehe ich jetzt erst. Aber die Augen fetzen mal irgendwie. Oh, how I wish I could see their faces when they lay eyes on such stunning works of art. Ah, such is the business when my clients are from out of town. Shall we head back to the boutique? Anstrengend. Here we are. You can just leave the cart there behind the boutique. Thank you so much for helping me on such short notice. I was really in a pinch there for a moment. I simply had to get that order out today. And I didn't know of any pony that would have been able to help. Of course, you'll be wanting your pay. Here you are. Rarity gives you 100 bits. All right, that's plenty to stock up on some food. Thanks, Rarity. Let me know if you ever need some more work done. Actually, dear, I need help quite often. Oh, why don't you give me your address? That way I can send you a letter should I ever be in need of assistance. You'll get first dibs on any work I need done. Sound fair? Yeah, thanks again, Rarity. That's really nice of you. But of course. Oh, ich bye bye <laughs> now. I really was wrong about her. She's very generous. Wonder if my bed has arrived yet? I should head back and check it out. Yo, ab nach Hause und gucken, ob das Bett schon angekommen ist. Huh. My bed hasn't arrived yet. <coughs> Whoa. Was zum Teufel? Wer hat mir jetzt gegen den Kopf gekackt? Hey, are you alright? Yeah, I do that, uh, all the time. <laughs> oh, um, did you order a bed? Oh, scheiße. <laughs> yeah, just this morning. <laughs> I guess you're the delivery pony. Sometimes. I usually deliver the mail, but sometimes I deliver bigger stuff too. Derpy Mare Mail can deliver anything from a package to a piano. <laughs> Derpy Mare Mail? Mm -hmm. It's called Derpy Mare Mail because I'm Derpy and I'm a mare. <laughs> it's a really clever name. I wanted to call it Muffin Mail, but <laughs> that didn't seem to make sense. <laughs> Derpy. I think that's perfect. perfect. <lacht> ja, also gucke ich auch mal morgens, wenn ich aufstehe. So sieht das mal aus, wenn ich in den Spiegel gucke. <lacht> Some pony really likes muffins. I see, that name does make more sense. Yeah, I thought so too. Hey, I just realized, I've never seen you before and last I checked, this house was empty. Hmm. Usually empty house, a new face. <gasps> you must be new! Hi, new friend! <laughs> wow, I 
eine Mücke mit Hirn. Das ist zu geil. Wow, ey, nee. Why is she getting so close? Hi, Juppie. Äh, uh, Friend. Ja, wanna be friends? Ja, ich kenne dich nicht, aber ja, klar, lass Freunde sein. This may is certainly a bit ditzy. She seems sweet, though. And the eye thing is kinda cool. Yeah, sure, I haven't made any friends here yet. You be the first. That's great, new friend. I don't have many friends. It's so nice to get a new one. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. I have your bed. Whoops. The cart must have tipped over when I landed. You mean crashed? Uh, don't worry. I'm sure your bed is just fine. Derpy mail mail packages almost always are. Ish, um, well, the bed is intact. Thank you for the delivery, Derpy. You're welcome, new friend. Hey, you want to get some muffins later? Muffins? Yeah, that would be nice. I love muffins. <gasps> Me too! I just love muffins. Banana muffins, banana nut muffins, blueberry and banana nut muffins, strawberry muffins. Getting really close again. Im Übrigen, das gerade, was sie gerade gesagt hat, mit diesen Muffins, ähm, das erinnert mich total an Forrest Gump, an den Visa Baba oder so, der da mit seinem äh, Schrimpkutter immer erzählt hat, was sie alles für Schrimp machen hier. So Schrimp so und so, Schrimp so und so. Oder auch wie Forrest Gump dann äh, aufschreibt in seinem Brief. Es kam Regen so von oben, schräg von der Seite, kam so und so. Und daran hat mich das gerade total erinnert. Muffins. <lacht> oh mein <my> Gott. Haha, <lacht> yeah. Me too. So, how did you become a male mayor, Derby? Well, that's a good question. I guess you could say I'm really good at bringing things to ponies. Usually in good condition. <laughs> mm. Mm, she's getting... She gets closer when she's excited. Then she backs away when she's nervous. That's interesting. So I got an idea one day to start my own delivery business. Well, not really. At first I got a job delivering pianos and anvils. There were a few incidents. Some ponies had to go to the hospital because pianos fell on them, but it really wasn't my fault, honest. So then I kind of... Got fired? Uh, yeah. But but then I started delivering letters and smaller stuff. Derpy Mare Mail was born and no ponies have had pianos dropped on them since. Well, that's a good thing. <coughs> you just knocked over my mailbox. Oops. Here, I can fix it. Oh, uh, it's okay. I'll get later, okay, Derby? Okay. Well, I need to get back to work. Lots of ponies have stuff they need to get somewhere. See you soon for muffins, new friend. Derpy is now your friend. Friends will have more to talk about than ponies you barely know and may even give quests. I was afraid she was gonna tear my house down if she stuck around much longer. Nice mare, but it's probably best I don't hang out with her at my house. I bet her some insurance agency just loves her. Ja, ich würde mal sagen, an dieser Stelle äh, mache ich hier nochmal einen Cut. Und wir sehen uns im nächsten Part. Tschüss und tschüss.